Yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to Luke's Fish and Mission. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm down here again today at the fridge. I call this spot the fridge because whenever we're hungry, we go to the fridge, we get something to eat. Whenever I want to fish for tea, I come here. Without fail, you'll always get a flatty. It is a good time of year to catch them. The tide is cruising up at the moment, so it's a big tide today, about 5.7 meters at 9 a.m. It's about 6 a.m. now. So we're gonna cruise up on the flats in the boat today and hit those part of the bank that's never usually covered by the water. The really big tide is gonna inundate different parts of the bank that's not often inundated. So I feel that the whiting, the brim, the flathead are gonna be moving up on the flats. Today we'll be using uh, soft plastics and hard bodies, chasing a few flatheads. So we're gonna make a little bit of a competition today. I'm with me mate, Elijah. How you going, mate? A yarn. <laughs> and then um, we're gonna have a little friendly competition. Three inch atomic prong plastic versus a hard body that Elijah's using. So a bit of a competition today between mates, plastic versus hard. Let's see how we go. Plastic versus hard body. Let's see what happens today. Wouldn't mind a couple of flathead for dinner today. Take two or three, nothing wrong with that. They grow quick, they're sustainable, they taste good, and they're good fun on light gear. So see if we can get a couple and let's see the hard body or the plastic beat each other. Let's see who wins that battle. No pressure. Biggest thing is keeping it close to the bottom, eh? Yeah. So the slower the better. Hey, I've got one here. Got a fish here, guys. Right on the edge of the bank. And he nailed it on the drop. Typical flatty for sure. Oh, it's not too bad. Back that drag off a touch. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, he's all right. Not overly big, but to start. That'd be a good lunch fish, actually. Not the big breeder and over legal size, so it'd be perfect to take home for a feed. I do want to take a couple home today, so that might be the first one. Perfect size. There we go, guys. First flatty of the morning. Lovely little fish. Three inch atomic prong in his gob. It's one of the plastic. Less is more, guys. When you're working these soft plastics, nice and slow is the best way. Let it sink to the bottom, making it nice and slow. We'll get, let it sink further, and you've got to keep it obviously in contact with the bottom because that's where the flathead are going to be laying. And just slow wind and then a bit of a hop, hop like that. Double hop with the wrist, just a bit of a flick of the wrist, let it sink again. Repeat the process, so nice and slow keeping it in contact with the bottom at all times. It's quite a lot of pull on it. I think I had a hit. Oh, yep. On. Oh. Yeah, right there where I just had a hit. Put it back in there. Not really, I think he's small. Oh, nice. No, yeah. Probably the same size as before. Should be okay, hopefully. He's probably a bit bigger than before, actually. Stay on. Come here. He's better. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Lure just came out, eh, as I hooked it in. This one's 47 centimetres, guys, and it's just perfect for lunch. This size here, and like the one before I got was 45, they're the size I like to take home. They're sustainable, they're male, they're not big breeding females yet. Yeah, so they're perfect. Perfect meal for one or two of us anyway, so that'll do. It's just become really hard work, guys. It's about 15 knots now, the tide's still ripping and there's rain squalls and all sorts of stuff. It's pretty nasty. The wind's blowing a big bow in the line. I don't mind a little bit of rain, but the wind is blowing a big bow in the line with these light lures it's hard to feel them so i've got the two flathead so far and been working hard hopefully we get a couple more and hopefully the conditions actually improve a bit it'd be good if this rain buggered off for a start but it's not ideal 
Fish? Yeah. Is that a fish? Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. I think it's a two It's good work. Do you want me to follow it? Heavy really? Yeah. You want me to chase it? Yeah, you might have to. Okay. How's it's your spill? Is it getting low? No, nah, it's alright. Well done. It's got like a really big head shake. You might have a good jeep. Let's keep that line tight because we're, we're moving in on it now. net sorted. Take your time. Call it for a jeet or? Well, I don't think I'm bloody to run that far. Alright, right, we're out of gear. Not bad, mate. Oh, you got a stingray. You jagged a stingray, mate. Oh, oh, no wonder we gave you some curry. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, thought you had a good fish. Me too. Pretty stingray. <laughs> oh. Well, that's not what we come here for, mate. Oh, to <laughs> took a bit of drag. Oh, what are these? Just a little cod. <laughs> so it must have had that drag light. Felt bigger than that. Little codly. On the plastic. Flicking a rock wall now. Something a little bit different. Get in there. Fish? No way. Sure it was a fish? Yeah, it was. Oh, wow. You got your big monstrous, big monster cod, mate. Well, it was a fish then. There you go. It was a fish. The whole time, good job. Okay guys, we have toughed out the conditions today. We really have. Um, it was high tide, it got windy, there was rain squalls. We've now, I'd usually go home after that, but we've stayed around another couple of hours and it's now starting to run out. The sun's out, the wind's dropped off, and this edge is gonna start looking good again. Before when it was fully covered with water, it was really hard to find the structure to delineate where the edge of the sand and the rocks were and the drop-offs were but now I can clearly see that now I feel like we could get another couple of flathead before we decide to leave after all fingers crossed, fingers crossed yes see how we go here tide's going out now so they'll be coming off the flats and then back into the channels again what do we got here Oh, it was silver. I, I saw that. <laughs> I got hit too. Did ya? We'll just spot lock here. Yeah, I'll get in there. What is that? Is that a, is that a Moses Wait, perch or a jack? What? It looked red to me. What is that? Oh, it's a grunner. <laughs> cool. That'll make sense by the few around. Yeah, nice. He'll go home because he's a bit small, but beautiful. I saw that purpley sheen on the top. I thought it was actually like a finger mark or a jack. Yeah. Are they good eating? These are real nice to eat. He's not, so big, he's not big. He's not big enough. Yeah, he's not big enough. They've got to be like forty. Close. They fight hard, Bart. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I've got. got All right, come here, come here, come here. Oh. Are they good eating? Yeah, they're good to eat, mate. Definitely. Well, I'll have a I wonder how big he is. He'd be close to forty, I think. I'll put a measure on this guy. Wow. Loving the prong. Three-inch prong is smashing it. Flatties, cods, grunners. He 
can't beat a prawn profile three inch everything eats it hey granny let this guy back he's only 37 so he'll go home pretty fish though solid strong good eating he'll go to live fight another day i'll get a photo yeah guys closing out today's session it's pretty hard work did end up getting a couple of flathead and a grunter and a couple of little cod and things like that so um the plastics i think it's fair to say eli i think they um dominated today well what do you reckon they did well it was hard work it was raining it was very windy trying to throw light lures into the wind and getting a big bow on your line it's certainly uh pretty hard work but still got a couple anyway so i can't be too disappointed there's still a couple of uh esky fish there for me to fill it when i get home for lunch so Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.